Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, it is time to blow up even more stuff. That is right, guys, because we're going to be checking out the modded bomb pack again, but this time, instead of using the bombs, we're going to be using the modded warhead that you can use to create your own custom missiles and bombs, and that is what I have done today. Now, in the back there, you can see we have the guided missile, which is an older build of mine, but it has been upgraded with the warhead. Head, and I also have a really cool missile right here by my side which has been hooked up to an awesome helicopter in the back there So we're gonna be blowing up all sorts of stuff guys. It's gonna be loads of awesome destruction So let's get into it So like I mentioned guys the bomb pack has a custom warhead that you can use to make your own missiles and bombs So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like right over here. Let's just kind of put this on the detonation rock So there you go. That is all it is look. It's so innocent. It's so tiny you can paint it whatever color you like. And of course, guys, these things definitely do blow up. Look at that. Wow. So they do pack quite a punch. I think the explosive uh, area is actually comparable to the large canister. So it is a pretty big explosion. Now, right here, I do have the missile that I made. Now, this isn't a homing missile or anything. This is just a fun missile that you can shoot. You can try and aim it. And like I mentioned, guys, it is loaded up on this helicopter here. So we are going to take flight and we're going to launch some of those missiles at some stuff but I'll explain to you guys how this missile does work so if I bring up the connection tool you can see it's quite simple actually there is a single thruster right here this is a modded block sensor which is hooked up to a surface logic gate so to complete the whole thing of course you would take this logic gate and hook it up to the thruster right there but as you can see it is now activating the rocket so we would obviously not want that so the way it works is I'm using the decoupler mod and what happens is with that sensor it's actually sensing the top of the wing on the helicopter so when you drop the missile the sensor stops picking up the wing which activates the thruster which sends it launching forward it is so much fun but before we actually blow anything up accidentally we're just going to disconnect that right there for now and actually guys what is this I have Intel Yep, look at this, guys. Down there, all the way down. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a tank hiding in the shadows of that tree. So I think, guys, we better get rid of it. All right, here we go. We are going to launch this guided missile, and we are going to steer this thing ourselves. Look, guys, there's the tank right down there. Can we get it? Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that was a weird delayed explosion, but look. We got the tank! That's what I'm talking about. And it would seem over here, guys, the uh, actual rocket is detached from the missile. It did not get a full detonation. Can I catch it? I don't think... Okay, you know what? No. I'm not going to be able to catch that. So, anyway, uh, this is the missile that you can get off of the Steam Workshop that I made. So, this is what it's going to actually look like when you download it. So, what it has here is just a little L bracket. So, what you're going to do is obviously just weld the entire thing off of the top right here, guys. You can see on this edge right here, you would grab it there and weld it to the bottom of whatever creation you want to actually launch your missiles from. And then what you would do, of course, is delete this little section right here like that. And you, of course, you want to make sure that this sensor is actually being picked up on something above it right there. Then, of course, the only thing you have left to do is hook up your decouplers to a switch so that you can deactivate them and launch the actual missiles. Now, what I actually did was I put them on a timer sequence so that it launches one missile at a time. So we'll get into the air and have a look at that in a second there, but it'll launch the exterior ones first and then it moves into the interior ones. Now, I'm going to go up and fly this thing and we'll launch some of these missiles, but guys, I was thinking in my head, I want to design some type of auto-firing missile magazine. I know that's a big mouthful, but I'm thinking right after we launch a few of these missiles We're gonna start working on building some type of auto launcher. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic But let's get into this helicopter and get into the air. All right, so we're going to take off into the air now I must say guys, this is probably my favorite helicopter now if you guys recognize this helicopter It was actually the missile firing helicopter that I originally designed uh, Which incidentally didn't explode, but now we have actual missiles that will explode so I actually didn't spawn any targets but I'm thinking we'll make the auto firing mechanism for like uh, the ground first and then I'll set up a few uh, different targets around the area and maybe even try and shoot this very helicopter out of the sky with a guided missile so why don't we just make our way to the side of a mountain here maybe we'll go uh, this way over here 
And so I'm going to head over there, and then we're actually going to launch these missiles right into the side of it. So, now this is pretty cool actually, guys. I did make it so that I have an added laser sight to this entire thing, so you can actually try and aim. So if I press the 9 key, you can see right there, look at this, guys. We have a laser that points all the way down to the ground. So, I tried my best to calibrate that laser the best I could, obviously. Now... The way it really works optimally is if you level out your helicopter, and that is very important if you want to actually use that laser sight, is you have to be pretty much completely flat across the horizon there, and then you get a pretty accurate location of where the missiles will go. Now, I think uh, the height might have a little bit to do with that as well, so why don't we actually just lower ourselves down all right i say we're uh, pretty close right about here maybe we'll just go up a little bit more all right here we go guys we're gonna fire these missiles in three two one here we go all right so there's one there's two and three and four and look at that guys they are going pretty much exactly where that laser is so you can actually aim with this thing and I can only imagine being on the ground and having someone chase you down in this helicopter and as soon as you see that red laser on your tank or who knows what you're in uh, you know you're gonna be destroyed all right so now before we get into some more destruction and awesome explosions guys I'm going to try and build an auto firing rocket missile launcher thing it's gonna be absolutely awesome hopefully it works so I'm gonna get building guys and I will see you very soon
All right, guys, so after a little bit of work, some trial and error, I think I have an automatic missile launcher. I haven't even tested this yet. I wanted to save it for you guys. So here we go. We're going to try this out. How many? I don't even know. How many missiles are there right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we have ten missiles in total. I'm hoping they are all going to fire. We have this beautiful seat right here. Now, I'm going to quickly mention, it's basically just... A few pistons that extend out, and as these missiles get pushed out, the sensors will trigger just like they would on the helicopter, and it's going to decouple from the back right here. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of hold my breath here and hope for the best. So, let's get into a nice first-person view here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try and fire uh, as many as I can successfully, and we'll see what happens. So, here we go in three, two, one. All right, this is it. Missile number one. Missile number two. They're not really exploding. Oh, uh-oh, I didn't think this through. All right, so it would seem like I, uh, I can't really spawn these without some of the missiles activating. That is really strange. I have no idea why those missiles are being activated. Uh, there's nothing different from those ones compared to these ones here, which is very strange. Let me try that. Let me try that again here. Is this, is it just going to keep happening? Look, those three. It's the same three every time. What? Now, those weren't really exploding, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to increase our angle. So I'm going to change both of these bearings here to 30 degrees. Now, what's going to happen is, as you can see, obviously this thing should be welded to the ground, but it changes the actual angle that the missiles will fire at, but it also changes the angle of the panel there that makes sure that none of those will actually get uh, blown away. So let's try and spawn this... Just like this, all right, it's gonna keep on flipping. Maybe if I put these controllers to slow. So of course, guys, everything gets unwired here. I have no idea why, but basically I need to go back and rewire all of these decouplers as well. I'm not too sure what's going on here, guys. Uh, this is confusing me. Maybe if you know what's going on, then let me know down in the comments because this is kind of ridiculous. But all right, let's try this. One last time here, I want to get this and then just spawn it into my little destructible city so we can try and shoot some missiles at it. But let's see what happens this time. Alright, there we go. We got one missile. Wow, they go so far. It's almost like these, the wings that I'm using, they might be a little too good. But look at this, guys. It is literally auto-firing missiles. And here we got three final missiles, guys. Let's see these ones fire. Now, like I said... They're going pretty far. We can't even see them exploding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn this into my destructible city. So that way we can actually see some of this damage. All right, so it is time for some city destruction here. Minus these three end missiles, guys. I still don't understand why every time I spawn it, they just auto fire and sometimes blow up the creation itself. But here we go, guys. Oh, that's right. I have to rewire all the decouplers now. All right, here we go. Let's see this. Oh, that is much better. Look at that. It flew right into the building. It like took it out in one hit. Oh, another one! Wow, this one's down. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, wow, look at the building. It just totally crumbled down. Wow, all right, so this would be much better, obviously, if it was loaded onto, like, some type of uh, turret mechanism or something where you could actually aim your things. All right, so I got a few more here. All right, let's see what these ones do. There's another one. Oh, right at the bottom of that building. Wow, did you see that? It was freaking out. Look, these ones are going into the building. Oh, wow, and that one's going way at the other end. Oh, jeez, look at that. That is amazing. All right, so taking an approach here to all of that destruction, just look at this. This building is completely demolished in so many pieces. I love being able to shoot that many missiles in one go. Look at this. We have a car over here completely blown up and turned over, and there's like... This used to be the radio station or something. The radio station is completely gone. There's the antenna there. Wow. So basically, it was shooting in a straight line, and you can literally just see the path of destruction that went through here. But I think we should finish this entire city off with the helicopter, too. All right, so we're going to send a few more missiles into this city right here, guys. Let's get this thing up into the air. I don't even think I'm going to bother using the... Uh the uh, laser sight for this one. I think we'll be able to manually shoot them, no problem here. And one thing I want to mention as well, this is just another issue with the game. Ah, there's so many problems with Scrap Mechanic, like so many small things that just frustrate me because after so many hours in the game and they're still happening and it's still problems, like look, the textures on the mod pack won't load sometimes. And I don't think, I don't, for some reason I feel like that's not the mod's fault, I don't know. 
Uh, maybe it is, but either way, it's kind of frustrating to see the texture differences and stuff like that there, but that's alright. Let's get up into the air here. Um, you know what, we might as well, for the sake of having the laser, we might as well use it, am I right? Alright, so look at that, we have that building right there in our direct sights. We're pretty much level, so let's shoot them here. Alright, there goes one, and two, and three. Oh, look at that, there it goes, and another one. Oh, jeez, wow. I gotta say, guys, this is some of the most satisfying stuff I have ever seen. But one thing I want to do, actually, is I want to shoot this helicopter out of the sky with a guided missile. Can we do it? I don't know, but I'm gonna try. So let's lower this down a little bit so that will actually give us a little bit of time to uh, get into a guided missile here. Uh, but we're just gonna lower this. We're gonna try and maybe crash this over top of the city as well with that guided missile. So let's get this nice and level. There we go. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit more, actually, just so we have that much more time. Alright, that looks pretty good right there. Alright, so I'm gonna ditch the helicopter. There we go. It is still in the air right above the city. Now, oh, look at this. This looks so cool from down here. Look, this is the actual shadow of the helicopter with the blade spinning. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Alright, so right here, I'm going to spawn a guided missile. That actually, that explodes. That's probably important as I spawn the exploding guided missile. Alright, so here we go, guys. There's the helicopter. Uh-oh. It's it's slowly going away from us right now. Let's see if we can't get it anyway, though. Alright. There it goes. It's lining right up with us. Yes! Oh, jeez! That was amazing! It worked so good! Ah, wow. So much debris. That's probably some of the most debris I have ever seen. And what is left here, guys? Wow, look at this. It is just the tail and the tail rotor blade. And look at this, guys. This wheel here. Freaking out. All right, so one more thing I want to do for some more awesome destruction is I'm going to use the helicopter to shoot at these tanks. So I have a couple of them there. I think I'm just going to probably shoot. Uh, you know what? Actually, no, I'd rather shoot the one that's to the left there. So why don't we get our laser sight going just like this? Uh, so I will mention, though, guys, I'm not going to put that auto launcher on the workshop it is a mess it's glitchy i don't understand what's going on with it exactly but i will put this alternate helicopter the one with the actual exploding missiles on the workshop if you guys do want to check this build out all right so let's just go up a little bit here we're kind of leaning back right now so we're not getting a very proper read on where our laser sight is aiming but i'm thinking i feel like just about right here is pretty good. You know what? No, we do need to actually level ourselves out. If we don't, then the flight is very, very different. Alright, so we're gonna kind of level off right about here. Alright, so here we go, guys. This is going to be the final destruction explosions here with these missiles. So in three, two, one, go! Alright, I am leaning down a bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was a direct hit! Wow, oh, I just got out of the helicopter. I do not want to get out of- Whoa! That was a stray missile, did you see that? Oh, wow, that's amazing. Uh, so one thing I know for sure, guys, is... I really hope that we can make something that actually spawns missiles. Or something that can actually, you know, reload in a sense. Because right now, guys, we're kind of limited. I can shoot those missiles. It is so much fun. And then very, very quickly, you can see that we can't really do it anymore. We have to come back to the ground and reload or respawn the creation and do it all over again. So there you have it, guys. That is going to be the video for today. I sure hope you did enjoy these really awesome custom missiles that you guys can check out on the Steam Workshop. I'll put the individual missiles as well as that helicopter up there for you guys to try out. It is loads of fun. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. If you did enjoy these builds or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And uh, if you want to see more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even turning on some notifications by clicking on that bell. And you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.